Hey everyone, I'm excited to share with you this rare opportunity. I was invited to film in the shrine in Kagoshima. Filming in the main hall is prohibited, but with the permission from the shrine and the high priest, I thought it was a good opportunity to take pictures of the open and closed mouth dragons, which symbolizes yin and yang, or the beginning and the end. First, there's the open mouth dragon ah, which is the sound it makes with an open mouth in Japanese. And then there's the closed mouth dragon um, which is a sound it makes with a closed mouth in Japanese. Kagoshima Jingu Shrine is an important cultural property with history that's said to continue from the age of the gods. It has many branch shrines like the Inari Shrine on the mountain in the back, and that's why I'll be visiting today. Many people are familiar with the Fushimi Inari Taisha Shrine in Kyoto. While I've been there many times, it's definitely overcrowded with too many tourists, which really takes away that spiritual feeling. Uh, since it's not the only Inari Shrine, I suggest you explore different Inari Shrines like this one here. Here's a tip I'll share with you. Force around shrines usually has this power spot feelings to it, especially if you go at the right time. You kind of get a sense of that mysterious feeling here as you go through more gates. Approaching two shrines here. Uh, each shrine houses a deity, and the way it's positioned, it kind of gives a sense that they're guarding the main shrine in the back. Further ahead, the main shrines come into view. Now, I was told that the three enshrined deities are Okano Mitama no Mikoto, Omiya no Mei no Mikoto, and Sado Taihiko no Mikoto. I'm trying to say those names three times fast. Towards the back, there's a crevice of a shrine gate. Legend has it that a fox god dwells there, so it's definitely worth checking out. First off, thank you to the individual who invited me to Kagoshima Jingu Shrine to do this personal project. I really appreciate the opportunity and I met a lot of great people there. Now the scene that I decided to paint uh, is the shrine maiden going through the different shrine gates. 
She was very lovely and kind. She'd take time off her duty to come and assist me. So thank you very much. So my order of operation is quite simple. Just work on the background first, then paint the shrine, and then move on to the shrine maiden. Uh, really not that complicated. Green and yellow for the essence of the force, and some blue for the sky. Uh, we're not trying to paint something too realistic. It'll take me too long if I try to do a photo realistic painting. I enjoy painting this way. It's much more easy and free going. Next, it's time to move on to the shrine. I don't really have one tube of color that fits the color of the shrine, I believe some kind of vermilion red. Um, but I do try to mix different orange and reds together to try and get that color. I know it looks a little bit more orange than red. Um, it's the first base color. We can continue to work on it. I use the same color for the shrine maiden's outfit or her hakama. I believe the Red color is to ward off evil spirits and bad luck. Uh, you could definitely find something similar in Chinese culture with the color red. Now I'm moving on to the Shrine Maiden's uh, skin tone and hair. Now originally I wanted to film more faces and have people talk in the video, but I do respect their privacy and if they don't want to be in the video, that's okay. But it's definitely something I'm interested in exploring, uh, doing interviews for future videos. Fortunately, the robe is white and my paper is white so I don't have to spend too much color on it. Uh, just enough light colors to, I guess, capture the shadows around the robe. Lastly, possibly the most difficult part is the ribbon. Um, in person, in the picture, is very vibrant and pretty. I don't think I have any colors in watercolor that could replicate that. So I just try my best and try to make it look pretty. Depending on the lighting condition, the ribbon can look pink, purple, or blue. So that's something I have to consider. Um, but it's fun to paint it that way anyways. I'm finishing up the painting now. Now it's time for my favorite part of painting. Just uh, throwing paint everywhere and make it look kind of chaotic. And I'll be finishing up some details on the video. All right, here's the painting I came up with from this tour. Thanks to everyone from Kagoshima Jingu. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. I hope we get a chance to work together again. And thanks you guys for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.